arguably the most intriguing and controversial religious relic in the world, the Shroud of Turin is facing major scrutiny from a new 3D finding published in the academic journal Archaeometry. For centuries, one relic has stirred more wonder and debate than almost anything else in history, the Shroud of Turin, a simple linen cloth, yet marked with the faint image of a man. But what if I told you this wasn't just cloth? What if every test, every debate over its origin has only brought us closer to a truth far stranger than legend? For actually reading the evidence for myself, become an ardent defender of the Shroud of Turin. I believe it's a slam dunk that the Shroud of Turin right. is indeed the burial cloth of Jesus. Scientists tested it, historians doubted it, believers defended it. Yet the Shroud never gave up its secrets, until now. Because for the first time, a new force has stepped in. Not a priest, not an archaeologist, but artificial intelligence. And the question we face today is this. Did AI finally uncover the truth behind the shroud? Or has it only deepened the greatest mystery of faith and history? Before we see what AI has uncovered, we first have to step back. The shroud's long history and centuries of unanswered questions hold the key to its enduring mystery. The history and mystery of the shroud. The story of the Shroud begins in the 14th century in France, when it was first displayed in a small church in the town of Lire. People traveled from many places to see it, because the cloth was unlike anything they had ever seen. At first, it looked like nothing more than a long piece of linen, but when light touched its surface, the faint image of a man appeared. His body showed marks that looked like wounds from whipping and being nailed to a cross. His face carried a calm yet haunting expression caught between suffering and peace. Could this really be the burial cloth of Christ? Or was it simply a relic meant to inspire devotion? This cloth soon became one of the most mysterious objects in the Christian world. Believers saw in it the very burial shroud of Jesus Christ. For millions of faithful, the image was not just a shadow on fabric, but a sacred sign, a window into the most important moment in history. For others, it raised questions that demanded proof. Was this truly the cloth that wrapped the body of Christ? Or was it a clever creation made to inspire faith and draw pilgrims? If it was made by human hands, how could an artist centuries ago create an image so unique that even today it remains unexplained? Doubt and debate surrounded the shroud almost from the very beginning. In the same century it appeared, church leaders argued over its authenticity. Some declared it a forgery, made by a talented artist using unknown methods. Yet no one could explain exactly how such an image had been created. Unlike a painting, there were no brush strokes, no clear traces of pigment. The figures seemed to rest within the fibers themselves, faint and ghostly, as if seared into the cloth by light rather than painted by hand. What kind of technique could leave behind such an imprint? Through the centuries, the mystery only deepened. Fires damaged the shroud, and repairs were made with patches and new threads. Despite the damage, the image of the crucified man endured. In the 20th century, photography brought a surprising discovery. When photographs were developed, the negatives revealed details of the man's body with stunning clarity, details that were not visible to the naked eye. How could a relic from the Middle Ages hold secrets that only modern photography could reveal? In the late 1980s, Scientists tried to settle the question once and for all. Small samples of the linen were tested with radiocarbon dating. The results suggested that the cloth came from the Middle Ages, long after the time of Christ. Headlines across the world called the Shroud a forgery. For skeptics, the case seemed closed. But if the test was correct, why do so many other details still refuse to fit the story of a medieval fake? The story did not end there. Almost immediately, doubts were raised about the reliability of those tests. Scholars pointed out that the shroud had been handled, repaired, and even burned over the centuries. Newer fibers and traces of fire damage could have distorted the results. Others suggested that the section tested may not have been part of the original cloth at all, but a later repair. Some experts believe that contamination and patchwork repairs may have skewed the 1988 dating results. 
What was supposed to be the final answer became another chapter of uncertainty. So, does the Shroud of Turin hide its true age behind centuries of damage and restoration? Yet, mysteries do not stay silent forever. Just when it seemed the Shroud would remain forever caught between faith and doubt, new eyes and new tools began to approach it differently. Could modern methods finally succeed where centuries of searching had failed? How the code was cracked. For centuries, the Shroud has been one of history's greatest puzzles. Every time experts thought they were close to an answer, the evidence slipped away. Some said it was medieval, others swore it was ancient. It was as if the linen itself refused to give up its secrets. That all began to change when researchers brought in a new kind of investigator, not a priest, not a historian, not even a traditional scientist, but powerful computer vision systems trained to see what no human eye could. The first step was teaching this digital investigator what time looks like on cloth. Researchers gathered ancient fabrics, some more than 2,000 years old, and showed the system how fibers weaken, how sunlight etches scars, how smoke leaves shadows, and how repairs disguise age. Once the machine had learned these silent fingerprints of history, it turned its gaze on the shroud. What it found stunned the researchers. The fibers didn't look like they belonged to the Middle Ages at all. Instead, their microscopic scars matched linen from the first century, the very period when the events of the Gospels unfolded. And then came something even more startling. Buried within the faint image, invisible to ordinary eyes, the system detected unusual depth patterns. It wasn't just a flat picture on cloth, it behaved like a three-dimensional relief, almost as if the body had radiated onto the linen. That echoed older NASA experiments with the VP8 image analyzer, which decades ago had hinted at the same thing, but lacked today's precision. One researcher from Jerusalem went even further. Using ultraviolet imaging and statistical analysis, he discovered that nearly all of the images aligned with a single intensity pattern. In simpler terms, it wasn't painted, it wasn't burned in, and it wasn't the result of natural decay. His conclusion was bold. Only a burst of energy, almost like a flash of radiation, could have produced such a shallow but perfectly detailed image on the fibers. As the Jerusalem Post reported, this finding supports the idea that the shroud carries a mysterious imprint unlike anything else in history. But the discoveries didn't end there. Among the threads were tiny particles of pollen, so small they had escaped notice for years. When matched against plant records, the closest relatives weren't from Europe at all, but from the hillsides of Jerusalem. Suddenly, the cloth story seemed to shift closer to its legendary origins. Piece by piece, the machine untangled a history that human hands had struggled with for centuries. The burns from a cathedral fire in the 15th century, the repairs by medieval nuns, the folds of countless processions, all were separated from the untouched original fibers. And in those original strands, the clues pointed again and again to the first century. For believers, this was more than data. It was vindication. For skeptics, it was a reminder that every discovery brings new questions. Was the cloth truly wrapped around the body of Jesus, or simply a remarkable relic from his time? The technology could not say. But what it could do was strip away centuries of confusion and reveal a clearer picture than ever before. And with that clearer picture, the shroud was no longer just an object of devotion or a medieval mystery. It had become something else entirely, a test case of how science and faith collide and sometimes align. But even with this breakthrough, one truth became impossible to ignore. The shroud was no longer just a mystery of the past. It had become a mirror for the present. Could this relic, caught between faith and science, reshape the way we see both? The future of faith, science, and discovery. When the latest findings were shared, many Christians felt a renewed sense of wonder. For them, the shroud has always been more than just cloth. It has been a tangible link to the core of their faith. The suggestion that the linen truly dates back 2,000 years felt like a step toward uniting belief and evidence. What had long been seen as a symbol might now hold a historical truth. Yet some voices remained cautious. A recent study by a Brazilian researcher argued that the image on the cloth resembles an artistic low relief rather than a body imprint, suggesting it may be a medieval creation. 
This finding stirred strong debate, reminding everyone that modern tools remain sensitive to interpretation and data quality, while not immune to skepticism. This tension between belief and doubt has transformed the shroud into something far larger than itself. It now stands as a test case for how new methods can reshape our understanding of the past, including days when religion and science converge. For centuries, it hovered between sanctity and skepticism. Today, it also stands at the frontier between tradition and discovery. The broader implications excite the imagination. If these methods can reveal hidden details within the shroud, what might they uncover next? Could scrolls lost to history, buried texts, or ancient art finally speak again? Might entire chapters of human history be rewritten under the light of new tools? Or will these tools open questions rather than final answers, reminding us that understanding the past is an ongoing quest? Through it all, one truth remains. The shroud endures as both a sacred relic and a puzzle. It draws devotion even as it challenges us to explore deeper. It invites faith and provokes curiosity. That balance granted it life for centuries, and it is poised to continue shaping our reflection on the meeting point between belief and knowledge. In the end, even if the latest methods suggest that the linen could indeed be 2,000 years old, the deeper mystery lies not in validation, but in what we choose to believe. The meaning of the shroud is not found only in its fibers, but in the hearts that gaze upon it. For many, it is the face of Christ, for others, an extraordinary puzzle. For everyone, a reminder that some questions are greater than our answers. The Shroud may yet teach us more about history, but its greatest gift might be the reminder that faith, like discovery, remains forever open. For a long time, the Shroud of Turin has remained a mystery that refuses to fade. Even with advanced tools and groundbreaking discoveries, it still stands between faith and science, belief and doubt. Some call it sacred proof, Others see it as art from another age. Yet what makes it powerful is not just its possible origin, but its ability to spark wonder and questions across generations. In the end, the Shroud's greatest truth may be its enduring mystery. Do you believe this cloth truly wrapped someone from 2,000 years ago? Or is it simply a masterpiece of ancient art? Can faith and science ever agree on what it really means? And most importantly, what do you believe? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to like the video and hit subscribe for more interesting stories. Thanks for watching.